Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're brand new to my channel, my name's Elizabeth. My channel name is Shy Town Girl. I hope everyone is doing well today. It was a beautiful day here. It is a beautiful day here in the Hudson Valley. Little humid and warm though. Whoo, I tell you, between hot flashes and heat and humidity, oy vey. Alrighty, brand new Dollar Tree haul to share with all of you. Every single item in this Dollar Tree haul is a buck and a coin, a dollar twenty-five. Every single item in this video came from actually three different locations. They're all located in the town of Poughkeepsie, two on nine and one on 4455. If you're familiar with that area, um, you know it very, very well. All right, let's jump into this Dollar Tree house, shall we? All right, so every now and then I do buy things that, you know, I need for the house, <laughs> you know, certain things for my kitchen and, and fun stuff like that. But I try to watch for when they have like the extra bags and the bags and the extra toilet paper and stuff like that before I go too crazy. So I was in need of some Ziploc bags. So these are the gallon size by Shore Fresh. You normally get 13 in a package. Now they have 16. So, you know, a couple extra here and there does help. So I grabbed two packages of those actually. And then uh, the aluminum foil was not that big of a deal. It was the 41. I get this one all the time and I've never had a problem with it. I use it all the time and it always works very well for me. I did pick up a couple more of these napkins because I feel there's just like paper towels. Some of them you pick up and they like literally disintegrate in your fingers once they get wet or anything. And some stuff, it's like, don't even bother having it. I don't know if all of you have noticed, but I've definitely noticed the toilet paper, the tissue, everything is going down in quantity. And I feel like it's just getting crappier and crappier, no pun intended on the toilet paper, but I just feel the quality of the paper is just not there anymore. I don't know, but that's just me moaning and groaning. The home store, premium napkins, I get these all the time. This is the perfect amount, and I know I've said this before, that fits right in my napkin rack. Um, you do get 50 of them in here, they're two ply. I use them a lot. I needed one for me, and yes, one for grandpa. So I got two of those. This I thought was a fairly good buy. These are called everyday spoons. You get 52 in a package. I thought that was a decent buy. So I grabbed that. Um, then I grabbed, they had the cutlery set, which you get spoons, forks, and knives, 52 pieces. So I grabbed that because we're always using this in the trailer. Um, when I say the trailer, I'm referring to the uh, race car trailer when we're at the drag strip and stuff like that. And it's just convenient sometimes. Like sometimes if I am on the run, I'll throw a yogurt in my car um, and I grab a plastic spoon as I'm flying out the door. This one is 52 counts of forks. So they had a little bit of everything. They did not in my store, in my store, right, my store. They didn't have any separate ones of just all knives. So, I mean, I didn't see that in my, my area, but you might have that in your area. Um, a couple more things that aren't all that, but you need them. Uh, paper plate count is down as well. Now we're down to 40 counts. It's just it, but you know, I need paper plates. And then I've been making grandpa so many muffins. I just made last night, I made um, lemon, lemon lime cupcakes with a, van a French vanilla frosting. And I have those in the refrigerator cooling down to give to him. Um, but I'm flying through baking cups and stuff like you wouldn't believe. So this, you get 90 cups in a package. So I grab those, I use them all the time. I've never had a problem with them. They don't get really oily or leak. They've been really good. Um, let's stay kind of with houseware just a little bit more. Um, they have these, which is a brand name. These are Wizards. And these were scents that I hadn't seen for a while. They're eight fluid ounces. This one is Room Mist Hawaiian Retreat. You know, sometimes I, you know, I do smoke, but I don't smoke in the house or around anything. I never have, I don't even smoke. I smoke in my boyfriend's car, but I've never smoked in my cars. Um, like my Camaro, it never had a cigarette in it and never will. But anyway, sometimes you need a little fresh scent. So there you go, I grabbed that one. And then they had this one, which is Tropical Citrus. I've never seen that one before. I'm actually gonna spray it right now. Ew, it just leaked all over me. Ugh, well, it smells really good. What the hell? All right, I really, you guys see it dripping off my hand right there? Ooh. Okay, well, I got a whole, <laughs> man, what scent are you wearing? It smells so nice. It is Wizard Tropical Citrus. It's cheaper than perfume. Okay, so 
I literally don't have, well, I could rip one of these napkins open, so let me do that, because like, it's all over my crotch. Ugh, I don't wanna stop the video because, oh, you know what? Hell with it. I'll just make sure I take a shower as soon as I'm done. It's not the first time stuff has been spilled all over my crotch. <laughs> all right, too much information, let's move on. All right, so, anyways, this smells really good. There it is, let's move on. These are such fun containers. I grabbed a couple of them. These are by Wizard as well. This is a nine fluid ounce, and those are these little air freshener beads. This one is in the scent of rose. I just love this. Tell me that that is not in the shape of a pineapple. Tell me if that wasn't yellow, it would not be a pineapple. Well, guess what? It is tropical citrus. It looks just like a pineapple. So you twist the top off, you pull the film off, but when it's done and gone, just trim off this plastic, tear it all off. You have yourself a pineapple. I mean, think about it. Pineapple things sometimes can be hard to find and I know a lot of people collect pineapple. So I thought that was fun. I actually grabbed two of those. Man, that stuff smells good. It is, it's probably, it's a lot cheaper than Bath and Body Works and I love my vanilla scented Bath and Body Works. So that, I love that stuff. Last but not least, they had one more scent and this one is called Morning Mist. It is so pretty. It's like a pinkish, it like kind of blends with my nails. So they had one, whoops, two, and then that third one, three. So those were pretty, um, I don't know, I got a kick out of finding those. All right, let's move over to, I have like hair flying at me from the air conditioning unit. I have scent galore. Let me tell you, that stuff smells really, really good. All right, let's go over behind where you do bath and body like soaps and lotions and things like that. Yardley has been, we've always had Yardley in the house somewhere because my mom being from England, Yardley was one of her scents. And my sister, um, one of my sisters back home in Chicago loves this scent as well. Now, it's the first time seeing these scents in these soaps. This one is Yardley of London and it is Oatmeal Almond. I, you can see right here where I was sniffing some of it. These smell so so nice so i found this one then the regular let me just get this out of the way because i'm scared i might knock that other bottle over so bear with me just a moment here my bad <clears throat> they also had their traditional that's okay mia mia's like sniffing around what's going on their traditional english lavender which smells absolutely wonderful and then this one I bought too because I've never seen this one ever, even in a store, but that's just me, I'm just saying. These are all four ounces. This is Cocoa Butter Nourishing Bath Bar. OMG, trust me on this. It smells amazing. If you like cocoa butter, trust me, you definitely want to check that out. It smells so good. Now I saw another package and I thought it said something about shea butter but it was all ripped up and it was really gunky, like somebody had used the bar of soap in the bathroom and put it back in the package. I don't know, I'm just saying. So I'm gonna keep my eyes open, so I'm not 100% sure, um, cause this one has oatmeal and almond, so I'm not sure exactly what the other scent with it was, but I'll keep my eyes open. This was a super fun find, and um, I didn't even know this stuff existed. No, I should say, I knew it existed, but I didn't know how well it worked until, um, Lynn from <clears throat> Linen Things had shown uh, a comment on Bodycology and I was like, Bodycology? Hmm. And she was like, trust me, you're going to love these, these lotions. And I was like, okay. So I found a couple of them and this one I've never, ever seen before. So this is Cucumber Melon Bodycology Nourishing Hand Soap. And I have to tell you, I did open this up in the store because I was like, you know, I'm real picky about my cucumber but I gotta tell you, this stuff smells so good. Again, it is Body Ecology Cucumber Melon, and trust me, if you like any of the Cucumber Melon Bath and Body Works products, you're gonna love that. All right, moving on, I saw these little characters and I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta pick these dudes up. So these, I tell you, if you smack somebody over the head with one of these, it's gonna hurt. You could definitely use it as a door stopper. I'm not suggesting that you smack anyone in the head, mind you now. These are four inches in height. How cute, hear no evil. Are these just adorable? How great for like a garden or something like that. So they had this one and then they have see no evil. 
How cute are these? And they're heavy, all four inches. And then speak no evil. So I don't know if I can hold all three no up. So hear no evil. Whoops. Speak no evil. Or see no evil. Speak no evil. I'm going to drop them. I know I am. And hear no evil. They're adorable. They are so cute. When I was checking out, everybody was getting a kick out. I'm going, oh my gosh, those are so cute. They're so cute. So usually when you walk into the Dollar Tree stores, um, they have this type of stuff like on a round kind of cabinet to kind of get your attention. And that's exactly what it did. So yeah, these are kind of fun. They're heavy. Um, I'm actually thinking of giving this whole set to my nail girl because I think she might appreciate them very much. Um, it's just a thought in my mind. I'm not 100% sure yet. But then I found these, which are just as heavy. They definitely will fit a tea light because I put a tea light in there. Um, but you could use incense or anything that you wanted. They are five inches in height and they are solid. They have these right here. How pretty is that? I don't know the proper name for this lady here. So I don't want to say anything I shouldn't say. Um, she looks a little bit like me, <laughs> but there you go. So they had this one here, which is perfect for like a garden or if you have like um, a koi pond or something like that out in your yard. And then they had this one right here. I really like this one. I think this one just is in so much detail. Look at the detail on the clothing, her outfit, her hands, her ears, her earrings. Look at the face, the detail. It's absolutely gorgeous. So they had lots of pieces like that coming out for around this time of year. I also grabbed these in the houseware department which I thought were pretty. These are glass. They could be anything you want them to be. I'm gonna use them as vases, but this one grabbed my eye. It's all glass and it's a gorgeous, gorgeous purple. I think you can see how well it jumps out on the screen. It's absolutely beautiful. It's got a nice opening so you could fit probably a good, I'd say you could probably fit a dozen stems in there if they were trimmed down. They also had this beautiful bluish one just for jars, decorative jars. One of the houses that my sister lived in uh, many years ago back home in, um, actually was Downers Grove, Illinois, um, because we were from, you know, around that area. <clears throat> or was it the Lombard house? No, it was Downers Grove. And I'm talking about back in Chicago right now. That's a suburb of Chicago. And she had this big window in her kitchen that looked out to like the forest. And she used to have all these different sized glass bottles. I wouldn't put anything in them. It was just all colored bottles. So when the light would come through in the kitchen, it was just like this kaleidoscope of colors all over the walls. It was absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I remember that house so well. All right, so let's move over to a couple munchies because I was there, I was hungry, I hadn't eaten anything. These caught my eye. Um, they had these out in the front. These are Wise Potato Chips, which is a brand name out here in New York. These are good till October 23rd, like they're gonna last that long, right? Ridgies. Sour cream and onion. It is a 3.5 ounce size bag. So later on when I got the munchies more, I will definitely have a few of those chips. I then also picked up in the food area, in the spices, I needed garlic powder. Last night I was frizzling up some ground beef and fresh onions for tacos for myself for tonight. Um, and I didn't have any garlic powder. I was like, well, how in the heck did that happen? That doesn't happen in my house. So anyways, I made sure I grabbed some garlic powder right away. This works great. I use it from Dollar Tree all the time. Hello, Miss Mia. How are you? She's all hot. Okay. I was like, I did a double take when I saw these. I was like, what? What? All right. <sighs> Got to take a breath here because these are going to go right in the refrigerator. And I will do a taste test. Eight fluid ounces. Snickers. You just say Snickers and everyone kind of goes, huh? Iced coffee. What? Yes. Oh, yes. Snickers iced coffee. Say what? Not only that, but Twix iced coffee. What? Eight fluid ounces of Snickers iced coffee and Twix iced coffee. I'm like cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs right now. I'm like, OMG, two very good candy bars. I've never seen these before. I was like floored. They were not in the refrigerated section. They were on the shelf where all your fluids and your juices and your waters are. Um, I'm trying to look for, 
manufactured in the United States of America. Shake well, serve chilled or over ice. It's from a company out, actually Wisconsin, which is, uh, can I read the name? Niha, Nina, Wisconsin. I should know that name, right? I was from Chicago. Anyways, check them out. These are gonna fly off the shelves. There's no way in heck that these are gonna last. No way in heck. So those will be going in my refrigerator right away. Also came across a couple more hair clips. I know you guys, I'm killing you with hair clips, but you know what? These are so cute. And these are a little bit smaller than the ones I showed you yesterday. There's still these like lobster type ones that I call, nyah, 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 nyah. Um, but very, very pretty. So I scored that one. And this one, which I thought is perfect for like around fall. This one here, pretty green with like a darky orange splatter. And last but not least, this pretty blue one with all kinds of dibbles and dabbles of dark blues. And there was a little splash of purple here and there, but you can barely, barely see it. All right, everybody. I'm, should I even say what I always say? I'm looking on the floor here. I'm looking at Mia. There's another haul sitting right down here. All right, everybody. Until next time, the next Dollar Tree haul you see, there's going to be something added to the beauty bag, the beauty box. Um, I don't know. Uh, hopefully somebody's going to win it at some point. I don't know. We're climbing up the hill slowly, but we're getting there. Thank you all for your support. Until next time, thank you again for watching. And I might be back later on with the rest of this haul. Till next time, everyone. Bye for now.